Hi everyone. Today uh, I want to upload a video about another article of mine. And uh, you know that the world leaders who are you know very strong, who um, who seem uh, very dominant in the political life, there are such world leaders, and uh, it seems that uh, no single challenge can overwhelm them. But of course, we don't know if this is true or not. Today, I, I want to make a comparison between two important world leaders. One leader is Recep Tayyip Erdogan, uh, the president of Turkey, and the other is Vladimir Putin, uh, the leader of Russia. So again, I want to share my screen. I want to show I want to show you the um, the article that I want to talk about. Yes, you can see my screen at the moment. The title of my article that I wrote in the February of 2021, so it has been more than one year, type Erdogan sharing common. It was published in internationalpolitydigest.org. This is a United States-based, uh, US-based web portal, news portal, you can say. Um, and yes, so I'm beginning the article. And the main, you know, the main points that I want, there are some main points that I want to uh, highlight. First of all, uh, yes, comparing Erdogan and Putin, both are charismatic and ambitious, both are ominously, uh, but are ominously, both are autocratic. Erdogan gained popularity in the mid-1990s when he served as the mayor of Istanbul. After a coup, we know that this coup is known as postmodern coup or soft coup. Uh, the Islamist government, the Refahiol government, was forced to resign, and, and Erdogan was one of the uh, figures in this Islamist uh, Refahiol government, the National Outlook Movement, Milli Görüş Hareketi. But then, uh, uh, in 2001, he found his own party, and he, since 2002, uh, AKP is the single party in Turkey, and Erdogan uh, has been serving as a president since 2014. And he previously served as prime minister for um, 11 years. Uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, unlike Erdogan, he was an uh, ex-KGB officer. He was not coming from the political uh, circles. And he served as a president from 1999 to 2008, then again from 2012 until now. During Putin's uh, rule, Russia is increased its role on the global stage in a remarkable way. But I must say that this article was written before the uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So it's it may seem like a little bit irrelevant. Um, according to political analyst Tatiana, uh, Putin's original success was rooted in his regime's ability to deliver steady improvements in living standards, following largely by scaring people. And uh, it's clear that Turkey is also governing, uh, is being governed through fear. Uh, so Erdogan regime is also uses this fear and, you know, the manipulation is a tool in, uh, in governing the masses, unfortunately. Uh, in addition to using fear as a basis for rule domestically, both Putin and Erdogan justify their policies through the rhetoric of a great nation and through the unification of the West. Both leaders have adopted religious rhetoric, Sunnism by Erdogan and Russian Orthodoxy by Putin, to empower and prolong their rules. So I think this paragraph is really important while making a comparison between Putin and Erdogan. Both uh, use the uh, religious rhetoric, one Sunnism, the other is Russian Orthodoxy, to empower their rule. I'm also going to put this paragraph, you know, under the video. And both have faced similar mass uprisings. We all remember the Giza uprising, the Giza movement protests, the Giza park protests nine years ago. And also in Russia, similar protests uh, were seen uh, like 11 years ago. And in terms of online freedoms, actually in terms of freedoms, both countries are, do not have a good record. In terms of online freedoms, both countries ex exercise extensive censor censorship. Here I make reference to Professor Yaman Akdeniz, uh, like the total number of websites. So there are like several websites which were closed down as, as some sort of online censorship. So um, we can say that both leaders have similar, you know, um, approaches in politics. They both use in religion and the, you know, the great nation rhetoric uh, to some degree in order to empower their uh, rule. And also they both exercise uh, censorship, both regimes love the censorship and also they use fear as a tool. 
And so today I want to talk uh, about my article comparing Putin and Erdogan, and I'm going to put the link uh, below the video for, for this article. And I plan to move, uh, sorry, I plan to upload more articles and more videos in the following days. And thank you for um, listening to my video.